Hello, hello. Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Today we're riding the Van Moof S3. I'm riding it right now. It's the blue S3. Uh, we just went to the Van Moof store in Santa Monica. Michelle's behind me. She's riding the X3. And uh, it's a little bit different from my model at home. My, mine is the S2. This is the, the S3, which is the model next to the S2, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit faster. Um, it's definitely more, uh, it's definitely more uh, responsive when it comes to the speed. There's a tiny bit more torque. And uh, I feel like the horn is louder. <laughs> it has a different sound. Yeah, these are hydraulic brakes. Ooh. Hello, uh, hello. Welcome to the Peter Cooper Show. Yeah. Like and subscribe. That's the show. Let's go. Oh, let's let's go. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Michelle's riding the X3, which is a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. Uh, it's more designed for people that are um, below uh, six feet, mainly people that are in, in the five feet. So five four, five three. It's really designed for people that are of that height. Um, it's really solid. It's very responsive. This this is the boost button right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is the boost button, and when you hit it as as you pedal, it look how fast it goes. Look at that. I caught up to Michelle so easily, and it's hydraulic brakes. Very good hydraulic brakes. Yeah, let's go. It says green for bikes over there, so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I just, I just don't know if it's, uh, it just looks like it's angled up like this way, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I might have to bring it down a little bit. Um, it does, it, it is kind of, you have to kind of get used to how, because you're kind of sitting forward a little bit when, when you pedal. And then also my legs are, on the super, your legs are extended forward. This one is kind of like in line or it's kind of towards the back. Does that make sense? Yeah, so Michelle is Michelle's saying that the right. Super 73, when you're sitting on it, you're kinda, your feet are yeah. pedaling it's more a like little this. bit forward. Kind of like... I have to go like this. This is the, this is the uh, S3. It's the blue one. I love the blue color. And Michelle's riding the X3, which is the black one. And it's a little bit shorter. What do you think so far? I love the handlebars. You like the handlebars? Nice. Very comfortable, easy to pedal. You do have to get used to pedaling, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the boost button? The boost button on there. This one, right? Yeah. That's kind of like a a throttle, but not really. And it helps you. Uh, it helps you pedal like hills. So, for example, if you're going up a hill, and you hit that button, it'll help you go over the hill, because it's using all the motor to the motor power to go up the hill. It's so much lighter than even just riding it. Change feels, it. Feels lighter than the super. 70. You want to go faster. Well, I just, I changed it down to two assists. Okay, I'm going to do go. level three okay. I had assist. it on level three, but I felt like it was too easy Too fast? To pedal. Yeah. That's when you hit the boost, when you start pedaling. Because it'll help, it'll help you go forward. My horn is like a little bell. Like that. It's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm just I'm just holding down the uh, the boost button and it just goes so quickly. So we're gonna go down this trail. This uh, we're gonna go down the beach trail here. Down this way. Yeah, one thing that people were complaining about this bike is that the gears sometimes uh, crunch. And by crunch, I mean you pedal in and then it'll pop as you're pedaling, which is something that uh, kind of feels like the gears are slipping from the chain, that kind of feeling. So I'm not sure. That was something that a lot of people were complaining about the S3. And uh, I believe that move was was on it right away, and it was and they were helping people that had that problem. So 
Um, I think most most of the problems have been fixed, but they've been pretty decent about if there's something wrong with your bike. Bye. They basically replace it for you. These giant bubbles over here. Yeah, so Michelle's going really fast. So um, what we can do is we can hit the boost button here and I'll just take off. Bye. Hey. I told you the boost button. Yeah. This bike is not like a throttle. So if you can hit it, you can hit the button and it won't do anything. It only rewards you when you're pedaling. So you gotta hit the button while you're pedal. See, there you go. There's, there's Michelle, she's going super fast now. The top speed is really quick. Uh, it's, I think, 25 miles per hour for, for just like a, a regular bike um, that's not like a Super 73 style. I think that's pretty fast. And uh, it's pretty effortless too to ride the, the bike. It doesn't, it doesn't take a lot physically for you to ride. So it's really well designed for people with bad knees, people that want to work out and uh, want to kind of start getting into the habit of biking, but are kind of a little out of shape. So this kind of helps you ease in. It's really easy to, to ride this bike, very comfortable. It's a very tall bike. It's also one of the first bikes where I can let go of, of, the, of the steering wheel or the or the handlebars and not be afraid that I'm going to fall because usually with other bikes I let go of the of the handlebars and I always feel like I'm going to fall but with these I feel comfortable enough and balanced enough to do it it's pretty cool it's really windy right now we're we're at the beach so hopefully you guys can hear us yeah look Michelle's doing it too seriously what do you think do you like it yeah I like it in general, which I miss about biking, um, using a regular bike because you know, I think everybody starts out with a regular manual bike. Yeah. And I miss the the lightness of it, the ease of pedaling. Yeah, it's definitely light. Bike. Yeah. Um, you can carry up the stairs much yeah, easier than a Super yeah. 73. People were complaining on YouTube about how heavy the bike is to bring up stairs every day. Yeah. This is nothing compared to a Super 73. It's I so could, light. Yeah. I could I can barely carry the front of the bike up a curb. Yeah. <laughs> so. Michelle, how high, how tall are you? Um, 5'1 on my good days. 5'1? Are you serious? 5'1? Uh, on my good days. So Michelle's 5'1 and uh, she she definitely has to use the uh, X3 because it's more of for her size. Which I thought was smart of Van Move to do two different bikes for diff different sizes because I've always struggled to find a bike where I can actually ride and my knees extend all the way. And this is definitely the bike for it. The company that designed these bikes is from the, from the Netherlands, Amsterdam, I believe. So they definitely have experience when it comes to designing a, a good bike because it's such a bike friendly culture that it makes sense that they, they really have a good idea of what works and what doesn't on a bike. So really, really like so far the X3 uh, actually, the S3 is the one I'm riding, but I like the X3 too. They're just uh, different, um, different looks. So far, not much of a difference compared to mine, except for the uh, hydraulic brakes and the gears, which I haven't really noticed that much. Um, there's a set, there's a uh, a manual way to set your your uh, uh, your gears on the app. So you hit a button, and you can change on here. If you want to go gear one, gear two, gear three, gear four, which is really cool uh, because on my S2, it automatically does it for you. And that's fine, but I like to have control of the gears manually. I think it makes sense to do that. All right, so we're gonna do a hill performance to see how this, this handles up a, a steep hill. So we're gonna go up this little, uh, this little way here. I'm gonna hold down the boost button while I do it. This is really steep. And it's handling, it's handling really well. It's actually not that hard. It's really easy to do it. It's easier to do it than the uh, Super 73. So much easier. Also, the Super 73 is such a heavy bike that it makes sense. You have to have a kick, uh, a head start to, 
to be able to go fast up the hill. But this one uh, picks up immediately. So you can see I'm literally at a, almost at a stop and I hold down the button and it's so easy to pedal up. It's like effortless. I'm not breaking a sweat, guys. So much easier. Definitely a lot easier than the Super 73, especially when you have one gear for Super 73. And I'm going up this hill like I'm literally going downhill. I'm going fast uphill. I'm holding down the boost button. I'm still getting a little workout, but obviously I, I my heart rate is really low right now. It's probably like 70, 80 BPM. And yeah, it's just really good for when you live in places like San Francisco with big, big, big hills, steep ones. It's really easy to go up hills with it. The biggest con about this bike, even though I love it, is that there, there seems to be problems with the gears. I just noticed it right, uh, as we were riding. Just, I can hear it going. Just for, just for 15 minutes riding it, and I can tell the biggest problem are the gears. It, like, it cracks and it pops, and uh, I feel like that's, that's the chain uh, that's greased up and it's losing grip from the cassette, but uh, I feel like it shouldn't happen for this bike. It should be seamless and quiet, and uh, you should not hear any cracking. I think that's something that needs a little improvement. That's like the only thing right now. Um, but like I said, Van Moof is really cool. They help you out with fixing everything. And uh, if your bike doesn't work, they literally give you a whole new one, So, which is pretty great. Yeah, it's really fast. I love it. Look how fast it goes. Yeah. I did a poll for you guys and uh, I asked if you guys wanted to see more Van Moof videos. There's a big majority of you guys that didn't want to see any more Van Moof videos, so this might be my last Van Moof, Van Moof video that I make. But this is I, for the haters. But I wanted to just make <laughs> one more, uh, just to show you that there is more variety of bikes there, out here than the Super 73, obviously, and uh, that there are different ones that, I, that you can try out. And uh, I know that Van Moof is not for everybody. It's it's definitely a bike for working out or for uh, just, it's a sleeper, it's a sleeper bike. It looks like a regular bike, but it goes really fast. Um, but it's not as cool looking as a Super 73. So I understand that not everybody likes that part of the bike. But I just wanted to make a video about it so you guys can check it out and see what you think. And if you ever wanna get one, just use my referral code and it helps out the channel. This is what my bike looks like. I love the color of it. It's really, really, really um, bright so people can see you. And uh, if you ever need to lock your, uh, your bike, you literally just hit this button right here with your foot and it locks it. And it made that little lock noise. Couldn't see it on time, but if you have to turn it on, just hold this button right here. You press the code one. Do it one more time. Press the code one, two, one. And then you roll it back and it unlocked just like that. Very light. It's actually heavier on the front than it is in the uh, back. That's what the X3 looks like. Really, really minimalist design. As you can see, uh, hydraulic brakes on both of them. And uh, it has a little basket in the front for the X3. I don't think it comes with the S3, only with the X3. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. It helps me be bigger, stronger, faster. And if you guys want to move, I have a code, referral code, down in the description below. And uh, also, I have a $75 off uh, code for Super 73. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.